Hey guys, hello, once again, this is Evil Pompey Returns with another episode, another Let's Play episode of Code Veronica X, Resident Evil. Um, thank you for tuning in to this video, I paused it, and now I'm going to unpause it, that's fun. Alright, so if you watched a few episodes, I got shit scared, uh, again, by dogs, and now I've got a buzzer, which is annoying, so I'm going to get out of there. Okay, thank you guys, if you're, if you're uh, watching this one. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully, this one will be a little bit more entertaining than the uh, the last ep. Um, I'm not a great fan of getting scared all the time, so that's. Oh no! 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 <laughs> you can't be joking me! <laughs> Seriously? Oh fuck! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, seriously, after the last episode. That is not one I want to be seeing. Uh, I've got sound as well, but they were sit. They, I didn't hear them because they were both the dogs. They were just sitting there looking at me. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, right. Just put the damn plate in. <laughs> oh, I mean, I ran away from in the last episode. I'm gonna do so again because I'm not hitting anything with uh, with this crossbow. To be to be fair, I just don't like it at all. I do not like the crossbow. Um, not against the dogs, it's just, it's just, I just get so, uh, right, anyway, we get ourselves an emblem card, there's nothing left, that's not what I didn't want to start, I really, I really didn't want to start the episode, like, <laughs> uh, oh, this is a card key, shining in indigo blue, you can use this at the military training facility, which is, I think, where we are, I've seen a lot of those things anyway, um, so basically, we can just have a look around now. Um, yeah, hear them, listen to them. God, on the other side. Great. Uh, this one then. Yeah, I don't want to start entertaining any of those guys. Oh, seriously. <coughs> Man, they, they they crap the hell out of me. They really do. They the what the please. Colors of them, colors. There's really long. Oh yeah, I got both of them. Sweet. Be careful. There could be zombies on the other side. All right, this is where we got locked out before, and we played the little little a Ashford game, little Alfred, um, whatever his bloody name is, uh, Alfred Ashford, um, trying to kill us with his band of snatch buddies, but uh, he failed. Right. Um, okay. What I'm gonna do then, uh, whilst I'm here, is dump a few things, and I'm gonna get uh, yes. If you're saying yes in your head to a pistol, yes, I'm gonna get the pistol out because. Yeah, I. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it out. <laughs> that go there. We're gonna get the grenades. Go there. Oh, I ain't got health on me. Jeez, always. Uh, I need to that. The hemostatic medicine is an interesting one because um, we can get there, but it would be a bit of a pain because it's an optional thing. I don't think you have to do it. You can just carry on the game and and, and not bother. Um, is it? I might make that another episode and just and have that be the episode, but. Because I can't, I'm not sure how far it's, it would, t how long it would take to get there from where I'm at, from where I am right now. Um, all right, the Lugers. We'll get rid of them for a second as well. We'll put another HP on. What else we got? I haven't even got a pistol. I'll keep the crossbow one because I do like to use the, the pistol. Is just for the dogs, seriously. Or more handgun bullets as well. Yeah, the pistol is just for me for the dogs. I've got a case I can't open yet. Hemostatic, yeah. A few things that need to, things that need to go places, pretty much. But we got um, we got some stuff anyway. So let's uh, let's equip this. And just come, oops, check them. Combine these guys, and we got ourselves a full clip. Now, right, let's move ourselves along. Um, now I've got both the cards, haven't I? So the indigo one and the uh, and the uh, blue one, uh, the indigo and the and the silver card. So we should be able to. Oh, it's locked. I can't open it. We should be able to unlock a few different places now. Anywho, right. I'm gonna have to go and fight those dogs again because I just remember there's. I can't go the other door across. It's locked, so it's downstairs. But this time I'm prepared. I'm not having any damn hound scaring me again. That's for sure. All right, come on, you guys. I'm Claire Redfield. I'm going to show you what it's like to fight a Redfield. Hello? 
I said that's not right. There you go. Go down, dog. <laughs> I seriously shouted so loud because my computer just went off onto um onto sleep, and I shouted so loud it it woke my computer up. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay, so this is going to lead us to the um, yes, where the oh the um the basement, if you like. Um, so let's move along down here. What's this? It's a breaker for the ventilation device. It's currently set to the on position. Well, we'll keep it there then. Indigo blue. We should be able to open this one. Yes. I can use the emblem card and get that open. That at least um, allows us to go around quicker, I guess. Um, what's over here? I did just check this almost like not that long ago. And I forgot already! It's fun! Okay. I don't need them. I tried to take it before, it wouldn't let me, and the other one was a dead end. They're both dead ends, and I haven't got a lockpick yet, so I can't get the grenade, lock, grenade bullets. Alright, okay. Sorry guys, this is getting frustrating. I'm trying to remember things at the top of your head. I mean, it's, it's, it isn't always easy, especially for me. Um, you know, I haven't always got the best in memory, so... Who's not going the voice since you we read? Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I, I, I did uh, mention like way back in the sort of beginning or a couple of episodes into the LP that I was going to use or I was considering using like a guide or something. But if I get stuck, I'm just going to keep on going with it. And if I would hope that you guys would be you know, the helpful lot that you are, would give me a couple of tips if I ever got stuck. So, yeah, I'm relying on you guys if you're watching. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself. All right, you're on the first basement floor. Um, I'm on the first already, so let's let's. let's all right, okay, yeah, let's go to the first first floor. There's more dogs to kill. The, like, these are the ones that got away from me last episode. Well, got away from I got away from them um, because I'm a little bitch. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Uh, and that one is where the save point was, so we don't do anything there. Oh, seeing a save point. Oh great, I didn't put any ribbons on me. Okay, fine. Okay, so these are the dogs that are in, in the other room. Oh, Steve's gone now. Okay, well, he must have took his body. He must have took his dad's body with him. Okay, let's go and bury him, which seems right, I guess. <coughs> okay. The other ones are coming the other side. Frick! God, these things are fast. I can't ever get a good shot off. Running around. The tank he and the tank. Good one reloading, Claire. Claire, good one, good one. Push him! Just keep shooting, don't look back. For God's sake, these dogs! Oh, goodness me. These dogs are overpowerful, I tell you. Overly powerful, these dogs. Yeah. Right, well, I'm using the weakest weapon in the game. Anyway, an old tank is being displayed here. This could be suited to Alfred's taste. Well, you'd expect that, because we've seen a, a bomber and a submarine. You'd expect that he'd have another tank. That would be, you know, pretty, pretty something. Well, I did see these things in the last episode, but I just didn't, didn't want to take them because I didn't have time and I can't see what I'm doing because there's a freaking tank uh, f uh, funnel in my way or whatever. Right, so let's put those in there. And I can't see what that is. Doesn't seem to be anything else other than the, um, other than that, the nose ones. Okay, this door. Okay, and if I go back in there, it's just going to lead me right back round again, isn't it? So let's not go that way. Let's go to the second floor instead, then. Because, um, yeah, I'll just, just be backtracking on myself if I went back for that other door. I think next episode I'm going to try and make the effort, you know, to, 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 get, to get to the guy who needs the medicine. Um, I think that's what I'll probably do. Um, because I don't know, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, so I'm going to need a full app if I'm... 
if I'm just working, um, you know, working out where where it is off the top of my head, I'm going to need the time to think of where it is just in case I faff up. Okay, so let's go to second floor. Um, since I've got the since I've got the, uh, the, the the indigo card, the location should be should be open to us. Like this one. Now this one's defo got zombies behind it because I bloody remember from last time. Um, so let's... I don't have anything anything explosive. Okay, I don't know if that even hurts more than one zombie. Right, we'll just keep, we'll stick the guns. Okay, but I know there's zombies down there, definitely. Uh, I think the old music starts going in it as well. Yep. Yeah, all right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking that. You're dead. You're not dead. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna wake up any second. Come on. I'm not stupid. Oh, here we go. Oh, what have we got down here? Anything? Looks like something. Oh, grenade rounds for a grenade gun. I don't have. Okay. How else we got? Nothing. The Albinoid description: a creature which is created by injecting its evils into the genes of a salamander. Characteristics: similar to a normal amphibian, an albinoid's body will change as it grows with age. When young, an albinoid is small in size, but it can grow to over seven feet in a very short time frame, ten or more hours. They possess high mobility and are able to discharge electricity. These characteristics are most notable when they are underwater in their adult form. Right, and it doesn't take a lot to guess that, that we that we will be encountering that creature at some point in the game. I can't remember. I remember where because I can picture it in my head, but I don't know when. So, um, so yeah, when that's going to happen, anybody's guess. I don't know. So we're gonna get these uh, get these herbs. Get a few for our troubles there. And this one. And we'll combine this one to make a mixture. I think Venom said that he was the whole thing. Uh, if I can remember Venom, is that what you said, mate? Uh, the green heals the whole the whole of it. The whole of HP. Oh, we've got an army proof. Oh, has a breakout in fire experiment room. Switch to screen monitor. Okay. Oh, okay, this is all weird. Is that one's body there? How do we zoom in? Oh. There's nothing special as you need a camera, yes. Oh, this is the room where we saw that guy, yeah, he he got well, he got pulled against the window, we saw that. And this must be him here. He seems to be dead. Yes, well. Yeah. No shit, shall we? Right, anyway, uh, let's go up here. What have we got here? There's nothing special. Okay, but what we do need to do is to memorise the number on this picture. I remember from a couple of episodes ago. So let's see if I can do that. There's a number there. There is a number. The number is 1126 is written here. So we need to put in that number later on. For one of the bomber's room rooms to finish ventilating. Okay. Well, bio experiment room is finished. Uh, finished ventilating, and now I've finished this episode. So thank you guys for tuning in once again. Hope you've enjoyed this one, um, and I'll see you guys for the next episode. So this is D Ball Pompey returns. Signing out, everybody. See you all later.